Okay, so here's an update on this model. There was a really big hot spot going along the neck here that I didn't like. So what I did was I managed to pop the entire, well, almost the entire model apart. And what it was is the piece of sprue that I had over here. There's not really going to be any way to see it, I guess. Let me change the exposure on this. Uh, so there's minus five on the exposure, and it still looks pretty washed out. Well, so there's a piece of sprue here that I used as a leg or a bench to uh, hold the wires up above the plastic. I was a little too big, so I chopped off the sides and glued that straight down to the bottom. So there's a little bit of a shadow there, but it's not too, too bad. If I could pull this wing off, this last wing is kind of wanting to hold on, and that's because I put a lot of extra glue down here. Well, let's see if I can actually wedge it open. This is one of the benefits to using super glue instead of model cement when you work on a model. You pretty much would not be able to do this. Hey, hey, nothing broken. Let me turn this UV off. And again, when you're working with ultraviolet light, use eye protection, please. It's not the kind of damage that's going to show up tomorrow or next week long term cumulative that's the worst kind of damage you can get to your eyes or any of you so I've got this little guy glued down here let's try and pry that loose just a little what I'm gonna do is set that back just a little further like right here or so all right now I'm gonna take I've already melted most of the sprue that came with the kit I've got this little bit here. I was looking parts 22 and 23. Nowhere in these directions are those listed. However, I had a Leaf Erickson, which is the non-glow version of this. And sure enough, parts 2 and 3 have their listings. They go somewhere in the engine vents. But I couldn't quite tell where. So I'm going to drop this little guy right along there at the neck seam. So this will act as something of a bench so that the wires aren't directly touching against the hull and causing serious shadows. Being glow sprue, I'm guessing, or at least hoping, that uh, that will help eliminate the shadows. And you know what, I'm going to put one more a little further up than that. Uh, somewhere right there, I'll show you once I got it glued in place. My original thought was that I did not want to pop this plastic open. I was hoping that if I drilled a couple really tiny holes in the hull that I could press the LED tape down and get rid of the hot spot that was going on. But that trick didn't really work out at all. So now I've got two little tiny holes right in here. And I am going to pull some of this melted sprue out and backstop them. And hopefully I can get a fairly good finish on that. The seams are really terrible on this ship, unfortunately. And now that I'm thinking of it, while I have it apart, I might be able to take some of this melted sprue, stretch it along the inside. The only question I have is, will the acetone on that affect this? So what I'm thinking is, I'll get myself a little bowl of water, essentially to act as a stop bath. And that should, hopefully, stop the acetone from melting the sprue. But, because it's already in a semi-melted condition... It should be stretchable enough, hopefully for long enough, to be able to do these fixes I've got in mind. So now when you light this up, well, here's a couple bridges I've got. And essentially, those will rest on the bottom. In fact, let's just take a really quick look. That definitely helps out a lot. It's still kind of bright on top, but got to point the LEDs somewhere. It's a really nice glow everywhere else all around. Looking at the ship from this direction, I'm realizing that uh, this little nose phaser thing plus that little doodad up top really make this look more like a clown than an actual spaceship, unfortunately. I've already tried pulling this phaser thing off, but oh, there we go. Hopefully that looks just a little bit better, but there's definitely some ridge residuals left behind from the uh, glue that was on there. I might be able to sand that down. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. Just about 13 segments, I think. Uh, no, 9 and 5 is 14 segments of LED strip. 
two additional three millimeter LEDs, one in the tower, one in the nose. And if you set this in a diorama, then you could have some LEDs pointing at the ship itself to help accentuate the wings. This inside cabin looks really nice and ghostly. So I think that's going to be, well, I may as well finish off this construction series by showing all this. Unfortunately, these blast decals really aren't going to be all that fixable, I don't think. I might be able to get away with putting some Sharpie on there. Some proper spray paint would probably help out. I imagine if I spray painted this while it's glowing, that should uh, help me not overspray or do anything bad to it. Okay, so I've got my bowl of water here. Let's unplug the electricity. This is going to be wet. Get my magnifying glasses. Alright, this is not what I wanted to be doing today. Alright, so here's the idea. Nice gooey mess. So I don't want this acetone to go melting the rest of the model. So, my idea is to kind of stick it in the kit like this along these nasty old seam lines. Wash it off in the water. Damp it off on the towel. And then drop it into place like that. So is this going to work? I really have no idea. Probably not. I think essentially if I leave this in place, let it dry overnight, then glue it in place, this might get close to what I'm thinking that I want to happen. So this definitely would have been much, much easier had I done all this beforehand. Okay, so that definitely plugged those two little holes up top there. I'm now thinking that if I could glue this together and kind of paste the pieces in, but that probably won't work either. Oh, here we go. How about doing this? Get rid of the top entirely. Now I can concentrate on just the bottom. Actually, one other thing I'm going to try here. Let's get a nice glob of something fresh. I'll probably have to wait until that's entirely blobbed up. There's still some uh, sticks left inside this blob here. But my idea is to basically roller pin a bunch of this out so it's nice and flat so I'll have a sheet. Then I could just stick that along the back wall and that should hide a lot of the seams. And I think this idea will work. This is just using my X-Acto blade here, or rather the handle of it. Once it's more consistent goo, this should roll out really nice and flat, I think. Then simply cut this into some strips, kind of like so. Then line those all along the back. So in fact, I'm going to pull all of this junk out of here. That has already started sticking to the model, so I expect that there's an acetone on here that's essentially starting to eat into the plastic. So what I will be doing is taking this into the bathroom and washing out the insides. So we'll put all this back in the bath. Give it a good spin around. And we'll get back to that tomorrow. So the basic idea here is to simply lay this down like that and cover up as much of the seam as possible. It's not too bad of a bend. I mean, it's not going to be a perfect solution, that is certain. I think glue just a little bit at a time, and this should work out pretty well. Overall, I'm feeling fairly confident about this method here. We'll see how it looks when I actually put the pieces together, though. That'll be the real test. Overall, if I can get this to snap down, it's definitely going to be an improvement. But 
there aren't going to be any holes shining through. However, what it looks like I need to do is shave the edges down. They're a little too tall. So popping these cowlings off was definitely a critical step for this particular model. It looks like getting rid of at least this one registration pin is also going to be another important step. A much better fit on this side. So what I'm going to try and do here is just glue one side down first. And then we'll worry about the other side. Another thing I've done in the last couple days to get a lot more clamps. And let and let sit clamped for a long while. Then I'll put the uh, head on and that'll be that I hope. I've got to put the cowlings back on as well. But the seams definitely look better and I'll show you when, well, when they're ready in a little while.